The police just releasing videos in the Jesse Smollett case. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is watching them now and breaks it down for us live from the newsroom. What are you seeing, Charlie? Erica, these videos just came in here. It is over 1,200 video clips. We are told it's about 70 hours of surveillance video, everything from when this all started, when Jesse Smollett reported that he was attacked in the Streeterville neighborhood, and also the Osendaro brothers, who were allegedly paid in all of this to help Jesse Smollett carry out this attack. You see video of them uh, from the ride they took to Water Street, where Jesse uh, Smollett reported this crime. You can see them in, the, in their uh, Uber on their way there. You can also see what we we are taking a first look at right now. Again, we are still going through all of this. It's over 1,200 clips, but right now we are taking a look at officer's body camera video as they go into Jussie Smollett's apartment. Uh, it is only a short clip because he did have officers turn off the video, but there you see as officers walk into the apartment, that is Smollett there in that white sweater with red on it, and you can see that he has a rope draped around his neck. He, of course, told uh, police the night of the attack that bitter cold night in Chicago on January 29th that two attackers yelled racial and homophobic slurs, dumped a chemical on him, which was later determined to be bleach, and they also placed that rope around his neck uh, that we are now seeing for the first time that Jesse Smollett left around his neck. He didn't remove uh, that rope, and when he was asked in a uh, televised interview why he left it around his neck, uh, he said that he wanted police to see it, uh, preserve it perhaps uh, for evidence, and there you see he is balling it up there, but in police detective work, they were able to determine uh, that at least one of the Osendaro brothers bought uh, that rope. It's a clothesline string, actually, from a hardware store near their north side home uh, on Lawrence Avenue. So, again, this is just where it begins. This is where all of that uh, surveillance video begins. Again, over 1,200 video clips that our newsroom uh, is pouring over right now. But this is where it begins, January 29th, with that, rape, with that rope rather being draped over Jussie Smollett's neck. Uh, of course, late, late last week, the, the big twist in this case, uh, as it continues, is that a special prosecutor was approved uh, in this case, which means this case can be reopened. Uh, a, an independent uh, prosecutor could potentially take a look at this and, if appropriate, could bring more charges uh, against Jussie Smollett and will also determine, uh, determine Kim Fox's handling of this case. Take a closer look at Kim Fox's handling of this case. Of course, she recused herself uh, for you know, gave a number of reasons. Uh, so this special prosecutor will give uh, a clearer look to people on how this case was handled and also if a crime was committed as uh, the Chicago police stand by and say. Uh, but of course, we are still going by through all this and we'll have much more coming up at six.